100 times a day on average. Or as adults, tend to smile only 20 times per day. Well, I believe we should smile more often, because smiling is good for you. And not only do you smile when you are happy, you also feel happier when you smile. And now, it's not that you should walk all day with an American grin on your face, acting as if everything were happy, uh, or everything were fine. It's not that simple. There is evidence, though, that uh, smiling itself is good for you, for yourself, and also for your relationships. And that's why I'd like to tell you today something about the differences between a fake and a real smile, what happens in your body when you smile, and uh, why smiling is good for the way you relate to others. First, the difference between a fake and a real smile. <laughs> if you <laughs> look at the slide, Focus in the area around the eyes. When your smile is real, you, fo you smile with both mouth and eyes. Whereas, whereas a fake smile, one out of courtesy, usually only involves the mouth, as those muscles around the eyes are controlled unconsciously. Well, the next time you see those little wrinkles and crow feet, don't worry because they're just good for you. Um, when you smile, endorphins and other hormones are released by the brain. They help you to relax, to boost your immune system, and to feel better. And one smile can generate the same amount of brain activity as up to 2,000 bars of chocolate. <laughs> so, well, for your personal well-being, it's good to smile, better than eating chocolate. Um, but what about those relationships? Smiling is contagious. When you smile, people smile back at you. Uh, during a study at the Uppsala University in Sweden, volunteers were exposed to pictures of both happy and angry faces. Um, they were asked to make certain facial expressions to keep their own face neutral, to frown or to smile. Sometimes the opposite of what they saw in the picture. But you know what? They couldn't. They mirrored the facial expressions they saw. And this means that we copy the faces we see around us. So, as I told you, when you smile, people smile back. And well, by doing so, like when you smile, you look and feel good. People see you, so they smile back at you. And uh, they feel and look good, so you see them, you smile. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> then, on MRI scans, it's seen that the part of the brain of the reward system is being activated when we see a smile. Uh, so you could say that our brain loves smiley faces. So, is it always better to smile also when you're sad? Mm, not exactly. A study where bus drivers were asked to give smiles to clients showed that their mental state got worse on days that their smile was fake, like they didn't feel like smiling. But on days they were asked to think about happy memories, to get in a positive mental state and then smile, on those days they did feel happy. But what about that famous study where people <laughs> watch movies with a pencil or pen in their mouth? Uh, imagine this, two groups of people. One group, all people with a pen or pencil between their teeth, forcing them to smile, and the other group without. After the movie, the people with the pencil say that the movie was funnier than the group without. <laughs> so, a simple smile has an impact on how you perceive things or how you feel. And as bus drivers, hmm, it seems you cannot hide your bad feelings with a fake smile. You cannot mm, suppress your emotions. But a real smile can help you to feel better, to be more attractive, and to help others to feel and be the same. <laughs> so, um, I believe we adults, we can do way better than just 20 smiles on average. Uh, as I told you, you don't only smile when you're happy, you also feel happier when you smile. So let the children teach us something, and I hope you agree. Let's smile more. Thank you.